Okay, so I went to put my water in the RV and I opened the cap and this freaking thing's in there. Um, you know, I can't just reach in there and pull it out because it's going to crawl down into the water supply. Um, so, it's a tricky one. Guess I just got to leave the cap off and hope the damn thing leaves. But, uh, yeah, this sucks. Okay, so I got him out. And this piece of copper here. I was able to get it in there and get him to get the hell out of here. So, hopefully I can get him on his way now. Let's see if we can get him out. Come on, buddy. I just don't want him going back in there. There we go. Got him out. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad omen or what, but hope there's no more spiders in our water supply. Jeez. So, after that little debacle, just wanted to show you guys how I get my water right now so I have to fill up this barrel from a tote and then I drive it over here to the RV and then I use this pump just to pump it into the RV and there's a little leak here I gotta fix always something here but um, anyways so then it goes over here and hopefully you don't have spiders in your water supply. But I just figured I'd show you that. And then this thing leaks a little bit, so I just put this on here. Try not to lose any water. So this tank holds around 50 gallons, and it, uh, you know, usually will last us, I don't know, four or five days if we're, you know, good with it. Maybe even a little more, but uh, sometimes you know give or take but anyways that's that's what we're living on right now and I do pop just a little bit of bleach in there not much just a tiny bit just to disinfect it a little keep the hoses clean that kind of thing but that's the life right there over and out